Hey y'all, welcome back. I have to give a little context to this video. This is Axel's first exposure to tracking. Now, I also tried a new method here as well, but the wind picked up. He did well, but the wind picked up, changed direction on us. A couple things I could have done a little bit better, but for the most part, you didn't do too bad. Have a look. Welcome to the intro to tracking in my dirty socks. Uh, today's going to be Axel's first day trying to track. We're trying to make it as easy as possible for him to get a win. Learned something new on the internet the other day. Yes, this is a dirty old sock. Has a Q-tip. There's multiple Q-tips in this sock. What we're going to do is we're going to be laying three tracks today. They're going to be short and they're going to be straight legs. And it's important that you got the wind at your back. We're kind of hiding behind this small building here because it's extremely windy. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be kicking in a scent pad. We're going to lay three tracks. One's going to be about 25 feet, and then we're going to get a little bit longer each time after that. On the scent pad, we're going to have a few of these Q-tips that have been uh, marinating in my sock for a little while. And on the track, we're going to put a couple of these down right to the finish, where at the end, he's going to get his calm and a bunch of praise. We're then going to move on to the next track, which is going to be a little bit longer. Now, we're not going to be stopping in between and doing a bunch of commentary in between. Nate's going to be running the camera for me so I can focus on him. I don't want to point him to the scent pad. I want him to find the scent pad on his own. As soon as he finds the scent pad, I'm going to give him a good boy, and then we're going to hopefully start on the track. See, we got his Kong at the end there. If you look here, you can see where I've scuffed the track in. Now, I may have a little too much distance in between these Q-tips, but we're about to find out. The idea is to give him the best chance <coughs> of winning. And you can really see the difference in the ground here where I scuffed it in. So what we're gonna do is we are going to walk, and you can see the track there. Hopefully you can see the track. We're going to come over here and we're going to do it again. And as you can see, we're going to be right in line with the other one here. We're going to kick it all in here. Again, the whole idea is for him to win. So we'll put a couple of those on there like that. And we'll scuff this one here in. Now we're just going to let him snip around for a little bit. Let him find the set pad. The wind just changed directions on us, so we'll see what happens. We were a little limited today with personnel. Ideally, 
you want the track laid start the track no time delay i delay the tracks because i wanted them in a specific place specific direction then i had to go get axle bring them back normally you want the dog watching the track be laid tease the dog with the kong leave the kong come back show them the hands are empty start them that's how you really want to do it we didn't have that option today we did the next best thing again i'm not sold on the q-tips but time will tell the wind most important got to pay attention to the direction of the wind now i am debating whether starting a complete second channel with nothing but canine content uh you all let me know down below whether you want to see that type of content here or start a whole new channel if any of you know my background K9 is my background. So anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Also, I will have a little more on Axel's history as well. It may not be what you think. Check back. We may have more. Again, leave me a comment down below. Do you want to see that stuff here or start something brand new? Later. Good boy. Hang on to that guy. Hang on to him. Oh, that's a good bite. Hang on to that. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy.